that that artists uh, work at, which is is the relationship between the, the self, uh, the narcissistic self, the isolated self that's uh, 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 caught in their own perception and worldview, and and the the other out there, the world out the relationship there. Relationship to chaos. Uh, obviously, the event that produced this particular wall uh, was was an event of a of an order, uh, physical order collapsing. And one of the characteristics uh, of chaotic systems and of creativity is that when you know, as Yates say, when, Yates says when uh, you know things fall and are built again, and those who build them again, you know, have a gaiety uh, about them. Even the even when they're building something that's uh, that's tragic or sorrowful, that that out of uh, a collapse comes an urge, uh, which I think is very we are as human beings to make an order, uh, and there's a kind of vitality in that order, uh, and you're seeing sort of the first elements. So the here. names are on it; they're sort of buried in here, uh, and I, I, I think the impression. Uh, of the wall as a whole is of a curious uh, intersection between the the particularity of the individual, the identity of the individuals, and the anonymity uh, that's in effect caused by the the sheer mass of the information, visual information that you you've got, uh, <clears throat> and and I think. That that intersection between uh, anonymity and uh, identity, you know, goes back very far. Uh, you know, wasn't wasn't until the Renaissance really that people started to sign works. And uh, you know, the classic story is that the artist would be working on a piece, you know, high up in the Gothic cathedral, and uh, the only one to know that he had done that particular piece was God. Uh, so the piece was a, in, in, a, in a way, a representation of, of your connection to the cosmos, your individual connection to the cosmos. Uh, <clears throat> and that continued even, I think, when people began to sign works. Uh, uh, Abe was talking about the difficulty uh, sometimes in, in finding a place to put the signature that doesn't you know, detract from the work itself, uh, <clears throat> uh, and I think it, it, with graffiti, the the uh, interesting thing often is that the that the signature or the the mask of the signature, the false name, um, becomes so de distorted or uh, buried in the um, the graphic tensions in the piece itself that it, that it becomes in effect anonymous. So they're they're working at that finding that.